This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another War and Pieces. Uh, if you have not known or or have ever seen this channel or see this in the great future, I had had surgery the other day uh, and um, uh, I was just really excited to uh, get a game in from GMT. I love everything they do, but when I saw that it was Ted, Racier, Ted S. Racier's uh, game, there was no way that I was, nothing was going to hold me back from taking a look at this, reading through it, and making a video for you to get you excited about it, uh, hopefully. Um, this is 1918-1919 uh, Storms in the West. Uh, it's a World War I game. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, World War I, it wasn't too exciting. There wasn't a billion tanks and, and it's just trench warfare. No, there's a lot here historically that really makes these, um, makes World War I very, very interesting. And what Ted does here is he takes and he really breaks this down and does a fantastic job of this. But I'm going to go down to the table. I'm going to do the best I can with one arm. Uh, and we're going to kind of just show things, talk a little bit about it. We're not going to go into the whole game, but this is a, a beginner to intermediate game that you could play solo or with another uh, opponent. But I think the thing that really helps this is that it is an entry level game that is very, very fascinating. So let's go down to the table we'll take a look at it and then we'll come back and i'll give you a whole bunch of thoughts because god knows i'll talk your ear off anyways let's go down take a look at the game and we'll be right back the real heart of this and and just to explain this um really keep it keep it simple first of all you're going to have these incredible um player cards that are going to help you through this okay combat is is, is very basic um, as you can see you're going to have uh, the beautiful counters which are 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 pretty big and 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 really great to have you have your attack fa uh, factor what the unit is uh, down here is your defense factor and your movement factor now that's going to be all explained here because as you take on things uh, such as um, if you were to face this unit, which has a defense value of two, so uh, obviously that's a three to one, you're going to be rolling your die, but there's going to be a ton of different modifiers that are going to come into play. And this is where you kind of learn, if you're a first time war gamer, you're going to learn a lot of things here. Okay. The, the real interesting thing is on the back here, uh, how well this is all just how you move through certain terrain and this is a absolutely beautiful map um and 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 really just gives you everything as far as combat effects uh any kind of movement costs uh, and, and anything that you need to kind of ease your way into this and this is this is one of the things that really intrigued me about this because not only it, you know is a world war one which i i enjoy a lot of world war one and i and and and, and the thing about it is when people think about World War I, they think about it's just all trench fighting. That's not, that's not the case here. There were some really critical things that, that happened here and, and how this war was won and lost. Uh, particularly, there is a separate game that is played with this um, <clears throat> that you can play. And that is in the last year of the war where the Germans decided to move west when a couple of their generals said that we should go and, and fight east. This portrays what happens if they listened and they went east, because obviously they went west, and of course the war ended uh, not, not too long later. So it, it, it sets up and you can refight that and see what you could have done to change that, which I think is very, very interesting. Um, the game 
is won and lost off of morale. And in each one of these main points, there are are points. So if you are if you have all of Paris of uh, Paris there, you are going to get certain t uh, amount of morale. But as you lose morale and as you hold these points. And this is one of the, the, the beauty parts of this game is as you are holding it, you are demoralizing the other side uh, to the point that if they ever get to zero, they lose the game. Um, there's a ton of reinforcements and, 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 and uh, you know, in and out of supply that is applied here. But overall, you know, very easy. The rule book, uh, you get, like I said, you get these beautiful aids. And of course, I'm trying to do this all with one arm, but the book is very, explains everything wonderfully. There's a nice little forward here where he just talks and, and even says, if this is the first time that you are playing a war game, don't try to memorize everything. Take your time, enjoy and absorb all this. Uh, again, you know, GMT, who, let, let, let's face it, one of the very best you're going to get uh, unbelievable quality okay uh, from 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 the box all the way down to the last component to the dice I mean everything is is top of the line and the thing that really works here is how well things are always uh, you know explained and and these rule books are put together uh, makes it so easy and there's not a lot here that you have to absorb you know the first page here explaining your allies and the allies of your allies and your of course the germans and then talking about morale how you're going to win the game remember how i, I said it's it's won primarily through through morale and how you're going to dictate and and um um uh, uh, change that by by conquering certain areas uh whether how that plays in uh beautifully done supply supply is very important you have to stay in supply uh stacking which is only a three uh counter limit you know just very basic stuff and i think if you are somebody that is in a very experienced uh war gamer as well that you want to bring somebody in this is a game that is perfect to give them a taste a feel of history uh, you know the beauty of history and as well as a, a, a historical game that just really hits the very basic principles of being fun and that's one of the most important things and like i said you know talking about all the different types of terrain here um uh, some optional rules and then like we just talked about a little while ago the extra scenario that you would have here um, uh, the storm elsewhere remember they stormed west what happens if they went east uh, you know another fantastic taking a game and making it fascinating interesting and something that you are going to enjoy whether you are a beginner or you are a well experienced war gamer i think this is something special 1918 1919 storms in the west let's go up and get my final thoughts on this masterpiece one of the things i wanted to fit in and i you know i i do everything in one shot but i wanted to show you the plan 1919 the variant for uh the 1918 uh, storms in the west the um other side for the um the extra game that's added uh you have another side here which is again beautifully done two-sided map i mean gmt ted just just fantastic like i said i was very very excited for this um when when you have something like this and Forgive me for having to squeeze in that last map, but it was kind of hard to kind of turn everything over. I usually try to just, uh, one thing I always do is give you my thoughts and I don't edit it. It's, it's, it's natural. It's, it's, it's organic. And so I don't edit anything. So when I added in the other side of the map, I actually had to add that to the end. So forgive me. So, um, 
anyways, um, the, the thing I really wanted to say about this is I was really excited to get this because I've loved everything that, that uh, Mr. Racier has done. And I, I, I think what he's done, and when you look at what how he's looked at this and broken this into a couple of different uh, games, I, I find it absolutely fascinating. And, and how he wanted to just show off and showcase the First World War. And I think it, it, it's done beautifully in the first game. The second game, I love how they say, well, you know something? At the end of the war, there was a critical decision. Let's play this out and see if it went differently. And that shows you how much time and passion is put into designing something like this where where you know you understand the flow of the war and how it went and 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 decide to take what if uh, you know a what if scenario and give you that extra uh, a bit you know you already have a fantastic experience here but to add that extra experience just says so much more about the man and about this great company um to, to give that to you and uh, of course you know you flip over the map it, it, it's it, it's as beautiful as the first side the quality is absolutely off the charts and these are the things that you expect from gmt and this is why uh, you know the p500 is so successful this is why uh all their games are carried by miniature market and, and and things like that and and they sell out almost instantaneously it's because the detail the care the people behind it that are creating the game and put their passion and their thoughtfulness into these fantastic experiences. Uh, this for me is a, a, a keeper and will stay in my collection along with everything else that he's done. But uh, I, I, I can tell you this much. This is something that you need. This is fantastic because it hits on a couple different areas that I mentioned earlier that because of it, it it's, it's a beginner to intermediate game it has a lot of solo flair to it that you know you could play by yourself or if you have somebody that is not an experienced war gamer this is easy to bring them in because the complexity is not that much that it will overtake and overwhelm the person and it is such a fascinating study on World War One, that it does all the things to attract a new gamer and I think that is just fantastic. So that's it for this week's War and Pieces and until next time and hopefully I'm a little bit better. <laughs> I'm not hurting the way I am. It's your old pal Rob telling you we'll see you soon. Everybody.